Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video about my studying habits in medical school and kind of like compare them to how they've changed since undergrad. I think the way that you study really changes in medical school and sometimes we're a little bit afraid to make those changes because we're so used to a different way of studying in undergrad and it worked for you then but you like get into medical school and there's so much more material and you don't know how to study anymore and it's very overwhelming so I'm going to tell you guys how I've kind of changed my studying habits and a little bit about my process of changing my studying habits. So I think how you study kind of depends on your exams in medical school and what kind of school you're going to. I think more medical schools are kind of going more towards having step related questions in their exams and not having the lecturers or the professors make the exams and they're using more of like old NBME style questions which is what my school is doing so if your school is doing that then my method of studying might be a little bit more helpful versus if your school kind of has your professors make their exams and pick and choose what they think is more important then this method of study might not work as well and keep in mind that how everyone studies is different and you kind of just want to try out a bunch of different methods for every exam and see which one works for you. I'll tell you guys how I studied in undergrad first. I think most people studied in a similar way in undergrad because there's not as much information. But like my freshman and sophomore year before things got a little bit more difficult, I would pretty much just study like the weekend before an exam. I didn't really read the books in undergrad at all. I honestly stopped buying them like my third and fourth year because they were not helpful at all. So what I would do was is just go over the PowerPoints that our professors provided for us during lecture. I didn't pay much attention in lecture. I kind of just like sit there and wouldn't retain a lot of information. And then a few weeks would go by because our exams were like every four or five weeks we had like the midterms. And once our exams would come I'd pretty much just like study the whole weekend. Uh, I'd study pretty hard like the whole weekend and make up for the lack of studying the previous weeks and then I would take the test and I usually got like an A so it worked for me and um, I didn't really want to change it too much because like during the week I would do research, I'd volunteer, I'd do other things and I didn't really want to study after I was like tired from volunteering or working or doing research and all of that. So when I started medical school I was like oh I'm just gonna memorize everything and I'll be fine. <laughs> And that made for very stressful weekends because you can't memorize everything. So I was, like I was saying, our school is more like old NBME style questions, um, like step questions, and our professors don't make our exams at all. Well, we have one professor who makes our exams, but it's from a bank of like old step questions. And so it's not what the professor thinks it's m most important, it's what is actually most important, like what the MBME thinks is most important. And so we use a lot of like outside resources in my school, so we use like Boards and Beyond, a lot of people use like Firecracker, uh, Kaplan te Cap Test, which is like Kaplan Questions, and a few others like Pathoma, Sketchy, and all of those. We use a lot of that and we don't really... And some of us will like read the books, we get assigned different readings for lecture. We still have lectures and stuff, but I think a lot of us use like the outside resources to study. And I do as well, I like to watch like Boards and Beyond. I do a lot of sketchy for like microbiology and for pharmacology, and then I'll do Boards and Beyond. I also still go to lecture because I find it really, I find that first pass of the material really important before I go watch like Boards and Beyond and whatnot. And then a lot of us will use something called Anki. Anki is a flashcard app, and I'll talk to you guys more a little bit about it. So when I first started medical school, I would watch, I would go to lecture, I tried to do some of the readings depending on which book it was in because some books were easier to read than others, and I just don't like reading a bunch of like facts about I don't know, like the musculoskeletal system or whatever. I rather like get straight to the point with boards and beyond, or our lecture will be more like clinical based, so I'll learn more clinical stuff in lecture. But I hate, I do not like reading. <laughs> I am not a reader. I get really distracted, or if I start highlighting, it'll take me like three hours to read 10 pages or something, so I'm a very bad reader. And so I would just watch like my boards and beyond videos during the week. And then the weekend before the exam, I would memorize all of my notes from Boards and Beyond. And that was kind of similar to what I did in undergrad. And I was passing, but those weekends were super stressful on me. Like, I would literally just panic every single weekend that before an exam. And, like, it made... It 
med school really not fun. I was passing, but I wasn't doing as well as I wanted to do. So I did that for a couple months because I was very stubborn in my ways, and sometimes it would work on a certain exam, but sometimes it wouldn't, so my grades were kind of like fluctuating up and down. So now what I do is I go to lecture, um, and that's usually like my first pass at the material. I don't read before lecture. Um, sometimes I'll watch a few Boards and Beyond videos before lecture, but I usually just go to lecture, and after lecture, I will watch my Boards and Beyond videos. I only watch them once. I used to watch them like twice. I would watch them once to take notes, and then a second time just to like sit there and like absorb the information, but I don't take notes anymore. I just watch them once. And then I use the app, um, the flashcard app, it's called Inky. And there are pre-made decks online for medical school, which is super cool. They have decks for like step one, step two, and like different topics. They have decks for like pharmacology, for uh, microbiology. So I definitely recommend you go on Reddit and go see which ones people like. I use a deck called Lightyear, and I know Sabrina used a deck called Zanky, I think. So they're pretty, they're pretty similar. Um, I don't really know too much of the difference. I think hers had a few more like flashcards in them, but all of these flashcards are pretty much made from the resources that you can find online. So there is Pathoma, and this is just in the Lightyear deck that I use. There's like Pathoma. There's Boards and Beyond. There's Sketchy. No, there isn't sketchy. There is first aid. So first aid, pathoma, and boards and beyond. Um, so I really like this deck. Uh, they split up the deck um, into little uh, tags based off of which videos they are from boards and beyond. And so you can find a specific deck that is for that one video, which is cool because you can just watch the video and then add those cards from that video into a deck and then just kind of like flip through them and do a lot of recall. And I like this a lot better than just sitting there and like typing things out and trying to memorize things because you're not really testing yourself. So I definitely recommend just trying out the flashcards and seeing if they work for you. At first I got really frustrated because even if I'd watched the videos just one time, I wouldn't really remember what I watched and I'd get really frustrated because I didn't remember anything in the decks. But you just have to keep going and like keep memorizing it in your head and just like do the decks over and over again and review every single day and I think it's really helpful. They usually take about an hour or two to do every single day because I'll do like a hundred new cards and then I'll do a hundred reviews. So, the first day, you just have 100 new cards. The second day, if you keep watching videos, you'll have another set of 100 new So it kind of keeps building up like that, and so you will see these questions several times. I also use another set of, of pre-made cards that's called LOL Not A Cop. I think this is like the microbiology uh, version. It has a lot of questions on microbiology, and it's more correlated to sketchy medical which are videos on like pathology, microbiology, and pharmacology, and I find them super helpful. And Sabrina, my older sister, actually made a video about them, so I will link that down below, and she'll talk, she talks more about Sketchy. And then I'll also use something called Zanky Pharmacology. This one isn't really split up into different tags as well, and so instead of having like the specific videos from Sketchy, it'll have like overall general like autonomic drugs. So if you're maybe not doing like beta blockers or alpha blockers for one exam, you kind of can't like take them out of your deck and so you'll still see them unfortunately. So I don't really like how this one is split up as much, but I haven't found another one that I like more and so I've just kind of dealt with it and I'll usually just like skip the cards if I don't know, if they're not going to be on that test. But I do really like that for pharmacology. Our exams are every two weeks, and so that's what I will do for all two weeks. I will do like two hours a day, whether it's on the weekend or not. I, I usually take the weekend after an exam off, and I'll go see my boyfriend because we're doing like, because we're doing a long distance relationship. And on that weekend, I won't study too much. I will just do my Anki cards, and it does take an, two, and it does take like two hours a day. But after that, you don't really have to study anymore, which is nice. And then the weekend before an exam, I'll just keep doing them for like two hours. So the first week I will watch videos and I'll do the flashcards. And then the second week I have a little study group with two other people in my class. So there's three of us. I think it's a pretty good size. I wouldn't want to go any bigger or any smaller. 
and I was never a group studier. I always thought that group studying was kind of just distracting and we would just end up talking about things that aren't related to school and we would waste time. But I think it also depends on the group that you're in. I really like the people that I study with. I think we do a good mix of like staying on task and then also like talking about other things or like cooking dinner and like just chilling for a few minutes before we go back to studying. But what we do is we do practice questions that second week right before our exam. We have two weeks and then on the Monday after the second week we will take our exams. And so this we usually do questions like the second week before our exams because we've at least like done flashcards and gone to lecture and learned a little bit before we go and do practice questions because it's a little stressful doing them if you haven't learned the material yet. And so we'll do Kaplan questions. Our school provided us with the Kaplan question bank, which was super nice of them. And so we'll do the questions for that system that we're learning. So like cardiovascular, we went through the questions and we kind of like, and so we'll do a few questions in one sitting. We actually take a really long time to do the questions because for each question, we sit there for like 10 to 15 minutes, kind of discussing the question and like teaching each other what we know about that topic and we'll like write on the board and draw out diagrams and we won't pick the answer unless until we are certain that that's the answer and we've gone through all the other options and decided why that's not it and decided kind of like what we need to know from that question and so we do take like 10 to 15 minutes sometimes we'll take like 20 minutes if we're really stuck on a question but I have found that incredibly helpful because everybody has different amounts of knowledge and Kaplan is really similar to what you see on your NBME style exams. They're a little bit more difficult, I would say, and so you, if you know that material pretty well, I feel like you're going to do pretty well on your exams if they're NBME style exams. And this has been a lot less stressful because I'll do just like two hours of Inky every day. I'll probably watch like one to two hours worth of videos, so I probably end up studying like four hours a day after class, which is still a struggle to do because you're really tired after class, but um, you gotta get it done. And then we'll do like questions for about three to four hours a day. And then like the weekend before the exams, we will only do questions from like noon until like six or seven. So it's still like six hours of studying. So I really like doing like doing the recall with the Anki cards and then also doing practice questions. So even though I'm not like memorizing every single little detail that I need to know, it comes up in the questions and you end up like learning it. And I find that a lot better than just sitting down for like 12 hours at a time and trying to memorize something. It does not work for me anymore in medical school. I think recall and practicing your like clinical knowledge and trying to like decide why that answer isn't it or that answer isn't the best answer, which is what a lot of step style questions are like. You'll always have two quest you'll always have two answers that sound good, but you have to sit there and think about why one is better than the other. And so I think that doing practice questions and doing those flashcards and kind of learning those little trigger words that separate one disease from another has really helped me. Yeah, that's kind of how I have changed my study habits. I think the biggest thing to take out of this video overall is to not be afraid to change your study habits. So I definitely think that you should try a few different ways to study for different exams and see what works for you and what kind of makes your scores go better and your overall lifestyle better. I think the biggest thing with that is to be okay to see your scores drop sometimes and just learn that that way of studying wasn't as helpful and try to find a different way to study. And in the end, you'll find the best way to study and your scores will be more consistent and you'll be doing better. Yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm sorry it was super long. <laughs> but let me know if you guys have any questions down below and I'll try to answer them for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.